Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I'm filming a little tutorial. I was inspired by my nails and I thought I would do an eye look inspired by them. I know this isn't, you know, my idea. I've seen a lot of people match their nails with their makeup and I thought I would, you know, make a series out of this on my channel because I have been going to get my nails done. It's safe here in New Zealand by the way, but I don't do my own nails. I get that asked quite often. Um, I go to Urban Beauty in the city. I see Jamie and I've been going to her for the past two years now and she's my fave. I don't go to anyone else. So I'll leave her Instagram down below if you just want like nail inspiration if you don't live in New Zealand. But if you're in Auckland, I would highly recommend her. But to jump into the tutorial, I did start off with my base product just only on my forehead. And here you can see I'm just filling in my brows. I wanted to do my eyes first just because I was doing a graphic liner and if I stuffed up I could just wipe it away and I would have less pressure so I just started with my eyes first and usually when I do my eyes first I like to just apply foundation and powder to my forehead and apply my brows on so that way I know what I'm working with and my brows really shape my eye shape so here I am just applying some brow gel <laughs> um, but yeah I hope you guys will be excited for this new series I'm really excited because I do go every month or so like every four to five weeks um, and I get a design different times so this design here it was one of her monthly specials it's actually a spotty pattern but because I got it in brown it sort of looks like a cow print so we're gonna go with cow print so yeah, be sure to let me know what you guys think of the series that I'm planning to start. I'm really, really excited for it, um, so I hope you guys are too. But now I'm going in with a very light brown transition shadow just to get a bit of base color going, and I'm just really gonna blow this out. I'm using a really big fluffy brush and just using windshield wiping motions right into my crease. And next I'm taking a white liquid liner and I'm going to start mapping out the graphic wing. So I like to work in little baby strokes as you can see here. And I'm first just mapping out the sort of curve. I'm following the natural curve of my eye shape um, and then I'm flicking it out into a wing. So I'm just pretty much creating what my wing would look like but just above my crease. And I'm making sure I am drawing this wing above my crease so that way when I do look up you still can see this graphic liner um, and I think with this step it is really ideal to do your eyes first because you can always clean up the wing and make it really sharp but I would say just use small strokes and just build up that white um, and you will get there. I feel like it seems really intimidating. I was intimidated. I don't think I've done this type of graphic wing before but once you get it down, I feel like it's quite simple. But here I'm just taking a matte white eyeshadow just to sort of set the eyeliner down and also to mattify the liner as well. I'm now going in with a lipstick actually. This one is discontinued from ColourPop. It's the shade Cinnamon. Um, this came in their brown sugar collection and I'm going to be using this to sort of draw the little cow prints, the little spotty prints. The brush that I'm using is actually a paintbrush. This is one of my faves. It's great for detail work. I always use this for like my cut creases or anything because it's so thin and so precise and I'm just drawing like little bobs. There's really not like a way to teach this. Like you just do you. I did refer to my nails a lot as well um, but I'm using a lipstick because this was just like the perfect brown. It was the brown that matched my nails so you could use a brown eyeliner. You could use black like you know to make it look like a black cow print but I really like the brown as you can tell my aesthetic is really brown and woodsy so this is just like so cute and I really like how it turned out um I think if it was a eyeliner it wouldn't have been so sort of patchy but it works and I like the final outcome so lipstick as eyeliner guys it it works um, but obviously if you guys are like sensitive to this kind of stuff then just you know be careful but now I'm going in with my brown liquid liner and I'm just going to use this to line my lash line I did create a sort of a long wing but you will see me rub this off later I just didn't think it matched 
wow with the graphic wing above like you can see the shape is just off so i wiped it off and i just created like a really short stubbier wing and i think that suited it more i did smudge it out with eyeshadow as well um i'm taking some shades from the nude mood palette from colourpop and i'm sort of doing like a gradient smoky wing so i smudge the brown liquid liner out with the dark brown shadow and then i smudge it out again with more of like a medium chocolate brown to get that smoky effect and i really love how this looks much more than the first initial wing i did and as you can see it was great that we did our eyes first because there was a lot of mistakes done well not that many i thought i was gonna mess this up like hard out but i didn't do that many mistakes so i'm really happy with the final eye look now i'm just curling my lashes i'm gonna start applying mascara as well this is the Hamish one my absolute favorite and then for lashes i am popping on the petite cosmetics hana lash this is my favorite lash when i want something on the shorter side but it does give me definition still so i'm using this one from petite use my discount code judy to save 10 percent off if you would like now i'm moving back onto the face i'm just going in with my primer this one is from Supergoop. it does a really great job of just like smoothing out my skin and i did want to be a little bit more matte for my base today and oops my earring now i'm just going in with my foundation just the usual i'm using a lot of my project pan products like i normally do blending that out with my beauty sponge Now going in with my concealer, I'm just going to apply this under my very very dark circles, it's kind of concerning honestly. And then I'm just going to apply this also over my blemishes, um, just because I can be stuffed using another concealer. I love this Too Faced one, you guys know it's my absolute favourite, um, but yeah, my dark circles are just like... They're really concerning, honestly. I feel like it's just getting worse and worse, and also the fine lines are just... <laughs> I don't want to talk about it right now. Now I'm just setting my concealer down with some loose powder. I just take a little bit just to set everything in place. I then also take my pressed powder, the same one that I used early in the beginning, just to set down the rest of my face and just to give a bit of color back into my skin as well. Now moving back onto the eyes, I'm just taking a medium brown eyeshadow and I'm going to start smudging that onto my lower lash line. As you can see, I'm focusing more of the product like at the center of my lower lash. Um, this is just a mainly because I want to cover up those fine lines. Like I feel like when you put eyeshadow on your lower lash line, it kind of like like hides your fine lines under your eyes going in with my bronzer i'm gonna apply that on my cheekbones just to give a bit of warmth as you can tell this look is very warm you know i wanted to just use a lot of browns and warm tones i'm also contouring my nose a little bit i feel like i've been going a little bit harder with my nose contour and i've been really liking it i feel like it makes quite a difference but now I'm gonna go in with my blush. This is the Feta Clementine blush, my absolute favorite, the most perfect warm blush ever. Just taking a little bit of my Fuego highlighter from Dose of Colors. This is the perfect like light gold champagne highlighter and it's just perfect for this look i also take a little bit into my inner corners as well just dusting that pretty much all over and for the final step i'm um, onto my lips i'm taking the teddy lip liner from m cosmetics and i'm just going to use this to contour my lips and i do make them a little bit bigger and more i guess rounded out and then for my lip color, I'm just taking that same luxe lipstick that we used for the brown spots on the eyeliner, just so we could have a complete monochromatic look. Alright you guys, so this is the final nails and makeup. If you guys have a better series name for this, then let me know, leave it in the comments because I definitely want to make this a series because I had so much fun and it really does push me out of my comfort zone and just to play with my creativity because I love doing tutorials and I know it's not the most popular thing but I love it and I want to continue doing it so if you guys like it, give it a thumbs up, let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye